Hey guys, Lewis here and Ju Justin, <laughs> this guy, and um, tonight we well, it's gonna be different when we upload this. It's gonna be it's gonna be way different. Huh? Yeah, we'll it's not gonna be tonight, but this night, um, uh, we uh, we uh, we did a live broadcast, and uh, we decided that we we're gonna do a Q and A. So um, we both. We, we, uh, well, we told you guys we were going to do a Q&A tonight, so, well, we both made a post on both of our Facebooks and stuff and all these other different things and, uh, asking you guys to comment questions and you guys commented a lot of stuff. So, you know, I don't know if you want to, do you want to ask for, like, do you want to start it off or do you want me to start it off? Um, do you, uh, do you have, do you have the, do you have the... Yeah, yeah. So we each got questions, but we also got questions for the both of us on our uh, our statuses. So I don't know. What to so to I guess I'll do the first question. Go. All right. So Kayla Field says, "Most embarrassing date." We'll both answer this. Whoa! I haven't really did that. I, I can't. I, I've never really dated. Never. Uh, probably my most embarrassing, I don't know, there was never an embarrassing date, I actually like all of them, so. Usually when girls flirt with me, they're like, hi, and I'm just like, oh, I'll just walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I've had all good experiences with first date, well, dates. Uh, yeah, that's it, you know. Dates? So, I, yeah. You mean like with an S? Oh my no, gosh. No, no, not, not like that, never. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Christian Del Delgado says, he asks, what is love? That, sir, I... Yeah, well... That's a good question. What is love? <laughs> I know what love is. What? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and music. And music. And YouTube. And YouTube. And Pac-Man, right? Yeah. Pac-Man. <laughs> yes. Right, Next... Question. Let's see. Next. Oh my God! I got a lot of that. How old were you when you had your first kiss? I'm gonna. Okay, my first girlfriend ever. Her name was. I don't know. If, I don't, okay, I won't say her name out of respect, but um, I was 11. So judge me or not, I didn't do anything illegal. It was just a, a little peck. And then after that, I got into it, but. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no. Ew. Yeah, my first kiss, I was like 11 and actually liked the girl, so it was like worth it for my first kiss. Mine mine was with my foster mom, so. Yeah, I was maybe like, I was really young. She was like, have a good day at school, and I was like, okay, and then she just like gave me like a small thing, like on, on the, not on the lips, not on the lips, that's, that's wrong. Like on the cheek, you know? But. My first kiss, I kissed her back on the cheek, too. I was like, all right, cool. You know. Uh, Lindsay Hester asks, how tall are you? I am 5'7", or something like that. And you are, how, how tall are you? I'm 5'11". He's, like, he's, like, almost there to me. It doesn't even look like a, it, it, you know, it doesn't even look like, it looks like you're, like, basically at my height. See, but Lewis is higher and taller than me, so. Yeah, I'm, just by a little bit, uh, you know. Good. Um, I guess my next question is, what time is the Q and A? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I told you I was gonna, I was gonna ask it. Kayla also asked that. Well, for us, it's right now. <laughs> for us, it's right now. For you, it'll probably be like tomorrow yeah, or, or something. Yeah. Um. Okay, your turn. <laughs> okay, who inspires you to make YouTube videos? Whoa, that's a tough one. That actually is hard. Because honestly, a lot of people inspire me to make YouTube. Well, no. I mean, because, I mean, like, if you mean specific people, I don't really have specifics. If you mean, like, general, like, all, like people just in general, like, the people who, like, I see people making sad posts and like that. <clears throat> or, like, you know, just anybody that's having a bad day. And, uh, so, yeah, I just decided, you know, hey, why not make YouTube videos? Maybe it's funny. Maybe it's not. And when I did it, people actually found it better and funny and they made their day better and that inspired me to keep going, so, you know. Well, that's deep, man. <laughs> There's one specific guy, his name's Jesse. 
Oh, well, they probably know. His name's McJugger Nuggets. Oh, he's McJugger, really inspiring. Yeah. You guys should watch his videos. He's really inspiring. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But a lot of YouTubers, like, it inspire me to do YouTubing. Even this fool right here. <laughs> oh, care. my God. <laughs> um, okay. Are you Yeah. Sure. Okay, so, Katie's... Katie Scami Scamilia, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, um, asked what favorite movie and why. Also favorite dessert. So my favorite movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas because it's like the way they make the movie. It's like he wants something new and he just wants to experience new things. And it's just really cool, you know, and it's on Halloween and Christmas. They combine like the two main holidays. And I love both of those holidays, actually, like a... Uh, like, uh, what does he call it? Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's why. And my favorite dessert is like chocolate ice cream. My favorite Super. movie, I have like a, I don't really have like a favorite favorite of all time, as of right now. I just like all, I just like all of Tim Burton movies. Not all of them, but I like three main ones. You're gonna have to guess those. I'm sorry. Little, there's a little like pop quiz. No, I'm joking. Okay, I don't even know, but um, I don't know. It's a it's a debate, honestly, because I like uh, I like three of them. I like Jack Skellington, the whole Name for Christmas thing. He's awesome, and um, don't get me wrong, The Martian was awesome. Like, have you ever seen The Martian? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's it's cool. The Martian, Corpse Bride, and like uh. Edward Scissorhands, that guy's a, that oh, guy's man. freaking badass. That's like a big. That's like a good mix. Yeah. That's like a good uh, roll. That's a. That's like a good. Uh, what do you call it? Damn. I don't know. And my favorite dessert. Um. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Oh no no no! I've tried um. Oh, I've tried a, a banana split. Whatever they call it, it's like ice cream with a banana on it. And I tried that when I was young, and I always thought that was really cool. Only because, like, they, I, it reminded me of a boat, so that's my favorite dessert. I don't know. I'm like, sorry. Um, what is, uh, Serena Williams asked, what is your favorite band? Honestly, I don't have a favorite. I just like a lot of them. That's just me. I just like whole general population and then, like, like a lot of. My favorite is like all of them. I got used to not asking you what's your favorite band because you was like, I don't have one. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, got, I, I remember a while, for a while, I kept asking you what's your favorite band. Now I know that you know. You're I just know like out there, you know, yeah. just listen to different ones. Well, you guys <laughs> already know mine. Mine's My Chemical Romance. <laughs> Even though they're not a band. Rest in peace. MCR. <laughs> All right, Emily Smallbean. Smallbean. That's Smallbean awesome. said, "What is your favorite?" Asked, "What is your favorite food?" My favorite food is Chinese food. It's bomb. It's like, oh man! And my school gives out free Chinese food, dude. Really? I swear. I'll show you the video after this. Oh, I deleted it. <laughs> but they give out free. Like he has dinners. The guy that looks like Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. He gives out f free food. You get plates and everything. Salad. It's all healthy. So. Well, my favorite food would be pizza. Wait, my favorite is my favorite food. Like, it doesn't matter any well, type. Pizza, just pizza. I don't care. My favorite dish, my favorite everything, pizza. I'll have pizza for lunch, dinner, and I'll even eat in the shower. You know? Yeah. That's intense. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, goddamn. Hannah Dobrik asks. Oh God. She asks. Uh, will you come visit me? Yes, 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 Hannah, I will come visit you. That doesn't count. Okay. I don't count. That counts, but it, it, it counts, but it doesn't count. Like, that's like my side side count. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, are you, oh, well. Would you, Yesenia Motionless asked, would you do a meet and greet in Houston? The, hell yeah, I would. That's awesome. Hell yeah, he would. I would walk in there and be like, Hi, my name is Bob. And then, like, the next person, I just come up to him, like, hi, my name is Larry. But they would all know who I am. But I will just say that, you know, just for the fun of it. Because why not? Because it's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, so he went to grab his, uh, grab his sweater. 
Wait, are you gonna answer the question too, or is it just? Oh, uh, what was the question? Uh, would you ever do a meet and greet in Houston? I would definitely. That would be amazing. I I have already met. Haven't you met a few? Yeah. Fans, you met a few fans. You told me about it. He told me about it. It was really cool. I, I met one last week at Knotts. I love meeting you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys, you guys rock my world. No homo. Yeah, you guys. Homo it's intended. all thanks to you guys. Hell yeah! I freaking I love these peeps. We do. We love you guys. My all boy. right. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, uh, Amelia, ah. Amelia Rose. Um, she asked, if you watch anime, what is your favorite anime? What? If you watch anime, what is your favorite anime? Oh. Uh, I don't... Okay, I don't really... I don't know if you consider this anime, but I love Yu-Gi-Oh! And I watch every single episode. So I love Yu-Gi. Yu-Gi Moto. <laughs> <laughs> Me, uh... Since the, my current living situation, uh... The placement I'm at, they don't really allow me to watch, like, a lot of things. So, like... I can't really watch anime. But, uh, yeah, I will, uh, be moving out and I will get my own anime thing. You get, like, on. a whole box like this, I imagine. That'd be cool. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have, like, boxes like this. Okay. okay. Gabe, Gabe James Peterson asks, What music have you been into lately and what... Oh, goddamn. Fuck, uh... Lately, I've been into, like, a lot of... Uh, like, um, uh, it's just really been a mixture, honestly, like, uh, like from punk to like really soft, like soft, 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 <laughs> songs. <laughs> it's the softest of soft. Yeah, it's like, so, it's like so, softer than silk, but yeah, I've been, just been a mixture of like stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what bands, like. Oh yeah, no, never shout never and like, can like, with mix with like, I don't know, random stuff. I guess I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just been into any music that comes on my iPhone. <laughs> you know, shuffle mode. It just shuffle mode. mode. You know, it just throws it all out there. It just bolts. <laughs> Three more questions. Uh, Stevie Colis said, "Who's your favorite YouTuber?" I can't answer that. I have a lot of favorite YouTubers. Actually, not favorite. I have a lot of YouTubers that I like a lot, so. <laughs> well. <laughs> maybe PewDiePie. Because he's freaking hilarious. But then, but then again, I also like a lot of YouTubers. Like, a lot of them. So I can't really say he's my favorite. Can I say all of them, or? Yeah. No, because oh. if I say all of them, then, like, what if one of them's, like, a pedophile? Fuck. Um, Imagine they all message you, like, what the hell? You didn't say my name, like... <laughs> <laughs> I like I, all of them are my favorite. I'm not getting jumped. Screw that. It will not happen. Okay. Um, you send your motionless ass relationship status. I'm single. Me. I'm single. I, I, uh, I actually rather keep that private. <laughs> um, I'm not telling you I'm single. I'm not telling you I'm not single. So, I was not telling you I'm a, sh I'm a, I'm a, what is it? Uh, a widow? No, it'll, it'll be, it'll remain a mystery for, for him. Just, yeah. You guys will so never know. Either I'm single or not. You guys will never know. You guys know. don't know. It, it'll be uh, it'll be a mystery for you guys to figure it out. <laughs> mystery. Okay. My boys, you're single. You gonna bolt? <laughs> uh, Desiree Flores asks, "What's it like having so many friends?" It's oh my God. It, well here in my town. I don't have that many friends. I basically just have him and um, I just have roommates. And I have him. <laughs> so, uh, but. You know, virtually, like on the internet, it's really freaking amazing. Like I said, we, they're amazing. You know, we, we love them. They're like, so they're really yeah. nice. And, um, you know, I, I think it's really amazing. It's, it's like one of the best feelings. So yeah, I like to, I like to live on the internet because all my friends live on the internet <laughs> and I don't want to be alone. And like when I'm, I'm not on the internet, I'm alone. So 
you know? Well, I'm not really alone because I got him, but, you know, oh shit. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Delgado asks, why is space black? Why is the moon. What is the moon? What color is the moon? <laughs> why is the moon red? Oh! Why? Why is the moon yellow? Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> why is the sun yellow? Yeah. Why is the... Well, no, I can't say that one. Because I mean. <laughs> it just is. Have you seen Joe Dirt? He's like, it just is. It, uh, why do you put, why do you put uh, jelly on peanut butter to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich? Yeah. Why do you put sugar in Kool-Aid? So when you're done drinking it, you can say, oh yeah. Why, <laughs> why do you put milk in your cereal? The world may never know. <laughs> this will be my third and final question. Um, it's from Lizzie Pooh. To Lewis, how is it like to have a kid? Details, please. It's amazing. I, I can only put it as one word, and it's beautiful. You know? <laughs> and to Justin, what will, be, what will you be for Halloween? Oh man, I knew somebody was gonna ask me this question. Okay, wait, Lizzie. Okay, Lizzie. Honestly, um, I would love to dress up for Halloween, but I can't unfortunately because my current living situation, as I said before. Um, well, I don't know if you guys know, but I live in a group home, foster home thing, and it sucks because, um, well, it it doesn't. They don't really allow me to go out and do trick or treating and stuff. So like. I don't know, I can't really go out and I can't really like do things cause like the safety hazard and everything, but I will be doing trick or treating uh, next year and stuff for sure. Oh yeah, uh, dressing up. There was one more question to that actually. What was it? Um, okay, here we go. The, la uh, the, the next question was for both, of it said for both. My phone was, uh. can you hear my tune? It's not loading. Okay. What the hell? Okay, you know what? Magic eyes and blush eyes. Okay, here we go. And then it says, for both. How many tattoos? Show them. How many more are you planning to get? Which one's why? That's like a long question. Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay, you want to go first? Go, go, you go first. Okay. Go well, basically, I have two. I have Aiden's name. Sorry, that's from... Uh, when I got shots, the tape made marks, so I had to... Yeah, that's... I got this, my first tattoo, Aiden's name. And uh, this is a death wish. That's his son's name, Aiden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my son's name. And this is a skate brand that I've, uh, I've always looked up to that gave, got me motivation to skate. And um, how many will I be getting? I will be getting sleeves and my body. So, a pretty good amount. And... Um, which ones, that's hard to, like, explain all together, but basically one of my main ones is going to be a red rose right here. So, but I am going to get a lot of them, and uh, I can't wait to have sleeves. And, uh, me, um, I only have one tattoo. It's a Batman tattoo. Ah. It's just a Batman tattoo thing or whatever. And, um, so yeah, I only have one. Just a little Batman tattoo. I do plan to get more though. I don't know when. Well, I, well, I'm gonna be turning 18 soon, so I'm gonna get some when I turn 18. I don't know when exactly that is, you know, what date. But I do plan to get some. I don't know where I'm gonna get it. Well, I know where I'm gonna get. It. I'm gonna get it all over my arms, just everywhere. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm gonna get a lot. I don't know which ones are like what kind I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get tattoos. Is that it or? Yeah, that's my last of questions. Oh, don't have to ask one more question? Yeah, you got one more, my boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. This one is a very important one, alright? This one's so important. This is like the most important question of all. Out of all of everything. Right. The, you, the world. Oh man, I'm scared. World, son! Okay, this. it says, Milani Monroe says, or she asks, how are trees born? Uh Tree power activate. 
Africa? Honestly, I think trees are just born from bushes. They just evolve from bushes. Like, bushes, you have to start out as, like, a little tiny piece of grass, right? And you have to, like, go from, like, work your way up to, like, a mushroom to, like, a full-on bush. Like, one of those tumbleweeds, then, like, a bush. And then you have to go from there from, like, just a, like, little tree to, like, a big tree, you know? Like, yeah, you know, it starts off small. It's just, like, dinosaurs. Now they left these little dinosaurs that look like dogs and cats. How, Dude, that's what I was thinking. What if they're, like, actually dinosaurs, but, like, baby ones? Because if, if you look at the bones and everything, they kind of look like it. All right, I'm gonna end that, I'm gonna end this YouTube video off on that. All right, bye guys. Be sure to give this video a like and uh, check out both of our link our videos and our channels and stuff and stuff and and yeah. all the links will be in the description for everything. Be sure to go follow us, give this video a like, and subscribe if you haven't and stuff. And uh, yeah, we love you and stuff. And yeah, this is gonna get awkward and weird. Okay, bye.